So boldness may have been cured, right? Let's talk a little bit about what could possibly be causing it and why is it only in 2025 that we seem to have found something that might be working. So there is a small molecule, it's a topical molecule, which means you don't inject it, you don't have to swallow it, it's put onto the surface of your skin. And apparently within seven days, you can see some results and some increased hair growth. And now let's talk a little bit about how it works, but the molecule in question is something called PP405 which is a research and experimental molecule at this stage. It's not marketed to the public yet. So what does PP405 actually do? Well, it seems to target mitochondrial pyruvate carrier pathway, the MPC pathway. Why is this important? Because this pathway ends up leading to increased levels of lactate dehydrogenase when it comes to hair follicle stem cells. Now we've known for a while in science that lactate dehydrogenase is pretty important for hair growth. And we've seen in several studies where we've actually artificially induced hair loss and stopped hair growth by removing the lactate dehydrogenase from hair hair follicle stem cells. We know they're very, very linked. And we know that increasing levels of LDH or lactate dehydrogenase to a certain level will stimulate hair growth. But to this point, we haven't really had a way to target that mechanism, right? We know about it, but we can't really do anything with that information. But it turns out now we might be able to. So what PP405 does increases LDH, which then ends up leading through several pathways to increased hair growth. There's some benefits to this because it doesn't use the same pathway as DHT blockers like finasteride, like dutasteride, which means it doesn't seem to have the same side effects such as low mood, low energy and potential issues with sexual function. However, there are some drawbacks because PP405 currently is a research chemical and it's only been used so far in rodents and mice and rats and so on. So it's not been used in humans. And for all we know, there may be a complete difference when it comes to the LDH levels in rat hair compared to human hair. So we haven't done, we haven't used this molecule in humans yet and we haven't done any large scale studies. So all of that good stuff I mentioned before might not actually actually be true when it comes to humans. Time is going to tell. But let's say everything goes well, we prove that it does work in humans, right? And we can see an actual actual change when it comes to hair growth. When is this likely to hit the market so that you can get your hands on it? You're looking somewhere near the end of 2028 to 2029, where we'll be able to pass all the phases of research and actually be launched into market.